Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another try on clothing haul. So you guys seem to really like my last one. I did a spring and summer clothing try on haul. So I'm doing another one today. I have accumulated some clothing over the past couple months and I'm just gonna share it with you guys today and try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So I'll also put all the clothing items in the description with, if I can't find the link, I will try to put the name of the clothing item just because you can always find stuff on eBay or Poshmark and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll try to put all the items in the description in order that I talk about them, but I'm not gonna go through them in a specific order. Well, I guess I kind of am because I want to talk about jewelry first. So anyways, I specifically wore items that were new so that I wouldn't have to try everything all on. So I guess since I'm talking about jewelry, I'll talk about jewelry first. So these earrings right here, if you guys can see. So these earrings right here are from Fraser Sterling. I like them because I've like really been liking small hoops lately, especially for summer. I just think they're cute to kind of just like, because my outfit right now is pretty casual, so I think they're cute to kind of just like throw on, you know? And then I have been obsessed with these necklaces. I got these from Kitty Litter Hawaii on Etsy, so it's not like an actual store, it's just like an Etsy clothing brand. Um, and I'm, I need to get closer again. So first one is this little cross necklace right here. And then there's also a horn necklace, which I love this one so much. I don't know if it's really focusing, but if you can see it, there's like a little bit of gold detailing right here on the horn, which I thought was cute because I've seen a lot of these before, but I've never seen anything like that. So I thought that was really unique. And then another piece of jewelry I got is also from Fraser Sterling. It's just this long chain and I have a picture wearing it, so I'll just insert it, but I really like the quality of it. You can see it's just like a thick chain and it, it, it's like choker length. So it's not like an actual necklace, it's like a choker, but you obviously saw in the picture I inserted. And then I also got another gold chain that's not really like a chain link one, it's just like that. Um, which I really like wearing gold in summer because I'm, well, I'm not like super tan right now, but I do get slightly more tan than I do in winter so I like wearing gold to kind of accentuate it. Usually in winter I kind of go for more silver colors but in summer I like gold just because I feel like it pops on tan skin so along with that I also got these freaking huge hoops from Princess Polly and I have a picture wearing these two so I'll insert that picture too but I really like them because even though they're really big they're super light so it's not like it's gonna be like dragging down your ears it's just like and I like them too because I really like big hoops I've always like really like big hoops so yeah and then the rest of my jewelry that I got is actually all silver so I got these cute hoops from Forever 21 they look like that and I don't think I have any pictures wearing these, so I will just pop them in real fast. So yeah, this is what they look like when they're on. I like the size of them too, and these are a little bit heavier than the big ones I got, but they're still not like crazy heavy or anything, so it's still like bearable to wear and your ears aren't gonna hurt or anything after wearing them for a while, so. I thought they were cute and kind of like boho-y for summer. And then I also got these super cute, I don't even know what design this really is, but they're kind of like horns almost. I don't even know, it's like a tusk type thing, but it's on an earring. And I got them from Vanessa Mooney. And I'll put them on too, because I don't think I have a picture in these. I've worn these in a video before, but I forget which video it was. So yeah, that's what they look like when they're on. I love the turquoise. I've always loved turquoise jewelry. I think it looks super cute. Next, or last actually, I got these heart hoops from love AJ so they come in there's this one right here and then there's also two smaller ones so I don't have my doubles holes pierced I wish I did because this would be so cute if I could like put the big one in front and then the small one in back but I've been meaning to get them pierced I just haven't so the way I wear them is I actually just hook it like that because I think it looks cute so yeah I'll put them on I think I did this, maybe I have a picture of this, or I wore it like this in a video, I forget, so I'll just put it on, because I don't know. 
So that's what those look like. Obviously you can wear it without the mini heart or with. I like it with because I think it looks different, but yeah. I really like these. I need to get my second hole pierced so I can wear both of them at the same time, but it just seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to move on to shoes before I actually move on to clothes just so I can get like the more random stuff out of the way. So I only have two pairs. I got two pairs of sandals because I felt like I didn't really have... I got red ones in my last try on haul, but red doesn't go with everything and I don't really have any other sandals besides that. So I got two different pairs of sandals, both from Zara. I don't know why, but I've just been obsessed with Zara's sandals this season. So I got, I haven't worn them yet, as you can see, but I got these sandals. I thought they were so cute and like, I don't know, they almost look kind of vintage to me. You can see the detailing on there so cute and then I also got let me see what was the price on these these were $49.90 so not that bad for a pair of sandals especially because they feel like they're pretty good quality so and then I also got a blue pair of sandals these also look kind of vintage to me like they remind me of Y2K or like the 90s <laughs> so yeah here I'll show you the material so they look like and it's like super soft so I probably won't have a problem with like breaking this in. These might be kind of hard because it's more of like a braided material but I can tell these are going to be like super super comfortable and let's see they were $29.90 so they were quite a bit cheaper but I think they're so cute and just like I don't know I really don't like heels that much I don't like walking in heels so I just bought sandals that I could wear and I could hypothetically dress it up if I needed to go somewhere fancy instead of wearing heels because I have a bad memory of falling in heels at my mom's friend's wedding and it was in front of everyone and I just, I can't do them anymore. I mean, I wear them sometimes, but it's just like, my mind is just like, no, don't do it. So next I'm gonna move on to the clothes I got and they're just kind of in random order. I don't have like a specific way that I'm going through them, but the first thing is a skirt and I got this skirt from Reformation. This is the pattern on it. I've been, there's another item that I have that has this exact same pattern on it. I've just been loving it. I don't know why. Um, but I also like how there's cute buttons down the front. And then this front part right here, like, I don't know if you can see the part where the belt buckle is. is actually quite a bit thicker than usual, which I think makes it look like more like drawn to your waist which makes your waist look smaller so I like it because of that and then these are the pockets so yeah it's just super cute I can't wait to wear it with something because obviously I haven't worn it yet because the tags are still on it so yeah and then next is actually another skirt from Princess Polly and I love skirts like this because they're so easy to just throw on like this is just like the most comfortable thing ever but it still looks dressy and cute so and I really like the color on it too. Usually I don't go for tan, but this color was on sale. I think they had a blue one too, but this color was on sale, so I figured I should get it. And I actually like how it looks. It's kind of beachy, which I like. So, and then the waistband's elastic, so I like it. And then next is a top that I've actually worn in a mukbang before, but you couldn't really see it that much because like the food and everything's in the way. So you're not really going to be able to see the whole effect of the shirt until you see me wearing it, which I'll insert clips of it, but it's like a tie front shirt. So it has like these little ties that tie in the front and then it ends up being in more of like a V cut because the ties are tied in the front. So yeah, I just like the ties in front because... It makes it look more fancy even though it's like a super soft material so it's super comfortable it just feels like you're dressing it more than you are so and then next is another thing from princess polly it's another tie front shirt actually but this one's short sleeve so the other one was long sleeve but this one's sleeved are ruffled like this and then it has the two ties that tie in the front and this is more of like a, I don't even know what material this would be. You can see it's kind of like papery almost. It said it's made out of cotton and polyester, but it feels kind of like scratchy almost. It's not super uncomfortable. It's not the most comfortable top I've ever owned just because of the material. But yeah, it feels like more structured, I guess you could say. 
Then next I got a super simple top from Brandy Melville. And it's just like a plain t-shirt, but I really like how it has a cut in the front right here. It reminds me kind of of the 90s too, or like early 2000s, because that's like the type of t-shirt cut that was popular. But I think it's cute. It's like an easy way, like my whole summer style is pretty much just like finding easy ways to look cute without having to like dress up too much, just because I really don't do my makeup that often in summer. So I don't want to put on like a super fancy shirt and like not have makeup on. So this is like more than just a white t-shirt but still just a white t-shirt at the same time so yeah and then kind of going along with the whole like simple white t-shirt thing i got this cute tank top it says cherry on it in the front in super cute font and then there's just like this thing in the back that's part of the tag that has cherries on it which is also super cute um I saw Hailey Baldwin wearing this and so I got it because I like loved how it looked on her. Especially you like if you're tan and it would look super cute. And it's just another one of those things that's cute that you can just like easily throw on and not really worry about like wearing makeup or anything. So that's why I got it. And then I also got another white tank top for the same reason just because I love wearing tank tops in summer because I get so hot. And so I got, this one is also from Brandy Melville. Same with the white shirt that I got with the little slit in it. And it just says North Shore on it. And then it's like almost the same material as the cherry top. But this one is a little bit thicker. I've actually been wearing this to work out in too. Just because it's like so light. And like when I work out I get super hot. And my gym's pretty hot too. So yeah. And then next I got a bodysuit. So I also love bodysuits in summer. Because they look super cute in shorts. Because they can just like tuck right in. And I got this one from Aritzia. It's just like a camo print. And then in the back, it's like super low cut. And then it's also a thong one, which I like because I don't like when bodysuits aren't thongs because for me, like my jeans or my pants are so tight that you can always see the bodysuit. And so I end up having to make my bodysuit into a thong and give myself a wedgie and that's not comfortable. So I like when it's like done for me already so yeah I like that this one's a thong and then I think this is the last top that I have that I got but it's just like a cute cropped shirt that goes off the shoulder and I got it from Reformation and I really like the ruffles on it too it like adds a little bit something more to it than just like a plain t-shirt type thing and then I also like the fact that I don't know if it's going to show up because this shirt is so dark but it's like a ribbed material kind of so it's not just a plain shirt there's like those little lines that go down it so I really like that and I also like to like I feel like a lot of over the shoulder tops almost kind of like squeeze the crap out of your arms and this one doesn't it's like just stretchy enough to where it's still gonna stay up but it's not gonna like make you feel like you can't even lift your arms or it's gonna like fly off you know so I like that and then I also got a blazer, which is kind of random because it's summer and I don't really know when I'm going to wear it because it's going to be so hot. I've been loving this checkered print. I just feel like it looks so 90s. I don't even know. I've just been obsessed with stuff that looks kind of vintage to me. So I got it from Lovers and Friends and it was on sale. That's the whole reason why I bought it because otherwise, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to wear it anytime soon. So otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But I love it and then the buttons in the front I like how they're also the same material or the same pattern as the rest of the jacket. I have a couple other blazers but no like pattern ones so I was pretty excited to get this one. And then finally I'm going to move on to bottoms or jeans because I've gone through my skirts and stuff so the first thing I got I like desperately I still need to buy more shorts but I really struggle with the shorts being like way too loose in the waist and then like actually if they're like rigid denim they'll like actually like squeeze my butt in so it'll make my butt look super flat because it's just so tight on it and then the waist will be super loose so these were actually pretty decent they're still pretty loose on the waist which is okay I mean they're just shorts it's not like they're gonna fall down but I got these from Reformation and I just really like the wash of it I feel like it's hard to find denim with a really good wash um, and then I also like that all the buttons because I think it makes it reminds me of like vintage Levi's so I really like that and I don't know they're just like the perfect like casual shorts for summer I really needed some I think I only have like two others and I wear denim shorts like all summer long so 
yeah, I was excited to get these. I also got, I also needed a pair of jeans. So even though it's summer, I just sucked it up and I bought a pair of jeans because I think I only have one pair of jeans that I really like and they are vintage Levi's so I can't really wear them with everything. So I bought, it's almost like kind of the same wash and same pockets as my shorts, but just in jean form. They have a skinny leg with kind of like fray on the bottom part, which I thought was cute. And these, I also struggle with jeans, with finding the right fit to go over my thighs, my butt, and my waist. So I, these are pretty good. They have like a good amount of stretch to them. I wish they were a little bit looser in the, my thighs because they kind of feel like they're being choked out, but it's okay. I feel like they might stretch just cause it's like that kind of denim. So I feel like they might stretch the more I wear them. And then I'll probably feel like they'll probably be more comfortable. But overall, like, it's so hard for me to find jeans that, like, really fit me. So, yeah, I'm just happy that I found a pair. So, And then last, I got another pair of jeans from Reformation. And these are, like, kind of jeans, but they have, like, a weird... Not weird. <laughs> they have, like, a different front part. So it's, like, just a zipper up and nothing else. And then there's no like place to put a belt or anything, which I thought was cute and different. They still have pockets in the back. I don't know if you guys can see because it's kind of dark, but the pockets are pretty much the same as the blue ones that I just showed you. And then they're also skinny leg. There's no fray on the bottom. They're more like, they're more rigid denim. And then there's no like fraying or anything, which is nice because they're black. So I probably tried to dress them up a little bit more. So. Yeah, I just thought it was cute that it, like there was no waistband or anything. I just thought it was different, so I got them. So yeah, that is all the clothes I got or all the clothes I have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked the clothes. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Feel free to leave me any comments you have about the clothing in the um, comment section. I will try to answer you guys because I know like I might not have covered everything. Some, I might have missed saying the brand name of something. I don't know. It's kind of hot in here right now. So it's like, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.